seem to do is pick up after them. Hmm, lepers, you say. Good evening. <laughs> And leading tonight's news, all 356 Australian passengers aboard an international airliner escaped a terrifying death today when their plane touched down safely and without incident. The plane, which could easily have plummeted from the sky and crashed into any number of buildings below, didn't. <laughs> One person who was doubly lucky was Rita Tolley. Not only was Mrs Tolley not injured in the incidentless landing, she wasn't on the flight in the first place. <laughs> Mrs Tolly now joins us from her home. Mrs Tolly, was it a last minute decision not to board what could have been Death Flight 481? Well, um, I'm especially lucky, Narelle, because um, I never even considered catching the flight. <laughs> Is Rita, do you put that down to some sort of psychic power you have? Yes, I do, Ian. Um, that and the fact that um, I have no need to travel anywhere at any time. <laughs> You wouldn't read about it, would you? <laughs> no. Well, good on you, Rita. Rita Trolley there, one of the millions of survivors of Death Flight 481's perfectly safe landing. Mm, second, the news. Lisa Marie Presley has announced she will be having a baby by artificial insemination. She'll have sex with Michael. <laughs> Michael Carmody, the Commissioner of Taxation, again denied there were errors in the 1995 tax pack and reiterated that all citizens should lodge their returns by August the 92nd. <laughs> and in overseas news jokes, Zsa Zsa Gabor is very old, Liz Taylor drinks a lot, Bill Wyman has sex with very young girls, and Roseanne Arnold has a fat bum. <laughs> And more allegations have surfaced regarding sexual harassment within the federal police. To discuss these allegations is one of the accused officers, Detective Inspector Reg Groper. Thanks for joining us, Detective. It's a pleasure, Narelle. Now, you've been accused of intimidation, verbal abuse and the actual touching of female staff. No, no, Narelle, those are just simple misunderstandings. So you didn't grab a female constable on the buttock? No, no, not at all. The um, <clears throat> circumstances of the case were as follows. On or about the fifth of the month, the female officer in question, while walking past my desk, tripped and fell, and her buttock landed on my hand. <laughs> she maintains you squeezed that buttock. No, no, I was squeezing an orange at the time, <laughs> and her buttock knocked it from my hand, and of course I uh, failed to notice this for a good 10-15 minutes. What we're looking at here is ignorance and sexism within the police force. Now look, Narelle, this whole incident would not even have happened had it not been for a very serious injury which I sustained in the course of my duties, leaving me with a crippling, yet largely involuntary, muscle spasm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh dear, there it goes again. <laughs> Muscle spasm, you say. Ian. Well, the weather's full of lows and highs, and we've got a guy with some fabulous ties. He's the fly with the eye on the sky. It's PHI, LBY. <laughs> yes, our very own weatherman and fabulous guru, Sir Philbert Toynbatius, visited Taruna Park Primary School today, and didn't the kids love the tea man? Students learned plenty from Phil's depth of meteorological knowledge. Temperatures are unpredictable. In fact, they can change like the weather. <laughs> now, this is an isobar. We, we call it an isobar because it, it's like a, a bar and it's um, full of isos. Well, I'll just, I'll just write that down for you. Isos. <laughs> <laughs> And Philby showed his popular favourite with the Littleys too. Hello there. And what's your name? Oh, uh, what's the matter? He's ugly. <laughs> but the weather doesn't have to be serious. And after Phil had given out the National Nightly Network News show bags, he did a rain dance for the Littleys. <laughs> Philby made a presentation to the students. And uh, here's a National Nightly Network News rain gauge to gauge the rain. Uh, however you do that, I'm not quite sure, but I'm sure it's very technical. 
<clears throat> oh, thank you very much. I was wasn't expecting that. You shouldn't have. You shouldn't have got me a. And in appreciation, the students presented the toinster with a dead rat. <laughs> yes, the toinster man. The kids just can't get enough of it. Thanks for looking after the car, kids. Well, Tom Dexter looks like a great bunch of kids out there at Taruna Park. Yes, and I'm looking forward to seeing them all again in the Supreme Court. <laughs> <laughs> Terrific. So what can we expect from the weekend in terms of the weather? Uh, well, Ian, I told you that two days ago in the four-day forecast, you inattentive, simpering prat. <laughs> <laughs> well done, the Twinster. And uh, what are you up to on the weekend? Well, uh, I'll be at a warehouse party off my face on cocaine. <laughs> Sounds terrific. Hope to see you there. <laughs> it's all from the National Nightly Network News team. Just a reminder that leading tomorrow night's news, the famous 19th century Stonehurst Park building becomes a blazing inferno. <laughs> Join us for that live telecast tomorrow night. Until then, good night. Good night.